chaos in the streets of Dakar and in Parliament. Opposition lawmakers tried their best to block a bill aimed at extending President Macky Sall's tenure and delaying elections previously scheduled for February 25th. Senegalese people, you have in front of you the enemies of the nation. This is a constitutional coup. Soon after, several of the protesting lawmakers were forcibly removed from Parliament. Despite their efforts, the bill passes with 105 out of the 165-seat assembly, giving it the green light, leaving Sal in power until new elections now set for December 15th. It's the latest flashpoint in Senegal's political crisis after the president announced on Saturday that this month's poll would be postponed indefinitely, citing an electoral dispute between Parliament and the judiciary regarding the candidate list. The move has sparked widespread protests. It's about whether we're willing to let the regime that's in place move forward with its political agenda or to say no. And the answer for me is simple, no. The violence has brought back bad memories of protests staged last June when supporters of disqualified opposition leader Usman Sonko clashed with security forces. Sonko has been in prison since July on alleged charges of insurrection. Fellow opposition leader Karim Wad has also been barred from running. South's opponents continue to call on their supporters to do what they can to, quote, defend democracy, fueling a crisis that analysts say is putting one of Africa's most stable democracies to the test.